Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be making a simple Art Deco inspired planter stake. Uh, this will be a little decoration to put in your household planter pot. I have my pattern already made and cut out. I make all of my patterns in Photoshop. First, I sketch it out with pencil and paper, but I do the final version in Photoshop. I find it easier to reference it, print out additional copies if needed, and if I want to scale at a different size, it's just easier than having to hand draw it all the time. So first thing we have to do is pick out some glass. Let's go. And I'm back with my glass choices. I don't use a lot of red, but I have a ton of red in my cabinet. So I think I need to start using red. Um, so the center of the planter stake, I think is going to be this just plain flat red glass. Uh, the next part, we're gonna do this really cool, I don't even know what to call this kind of glass. It's really cool. And the outsides will be this. All right. I always use a Sharpie paint pen. It stays, the paint stays on the glass really well, it does not come off easily when grinding, so that's a plus. I don't have to keep tracing the pattern over and over. Now, since this glass is smooth on both sides, I'm just going to trace it on the front. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly trace the rest of it. All right, now that my pattern is all traced onto the glass, it is time to cut it. Uh, let's just go through some of the tools that I have. I have a pistol grip, I have a pencil grip dry wheel cutter, I've got two sets of running pliers, I got a small one and this bigger heavy duty one. And then I have my grosers. I don't use these too much, but they're still helpful. Uh, I don't really have a favorite, I mean, I learned on a pistol grip, but I just go between them. All right, so let's get to it. And then I also, I love the waffle grid system because you don't have to worry about clearing off your workspace after you cut a piece of glass because the shards just fall into the waffle. Nice clean break.
All right, so I'll just quickly finish up cutting the rest. Okay, so the pieces are ready to go. They've been cut and I ground down any sharp edges and now we can foil. Oh, sorry for that awful squeal. So this planter stake is going to be finished with mm, copper patina. Yes, yes, I'm going to make it copper. So I want to use copper backed foil. So when you look through these transparent pieces, you will see copper and nothing else. You should always have copper backed foil, black backed foil, and silver backed foil so that you use the correct foil based on whatever finish you are going to use for the solder. So all of my glass looks like about the same thickness so I only have to use one size of foil. I'll probably I don't think I want to use quarter inch because I don't want really thick solder lines. So I'm going to use seven thirty second. Yeah, I'll use seven thirty second. So make sure your glass is centered on the foil so you have the same an equal amount of overhang on each side of the glass they make special tools that can help you otherwise you can just eyeball it and once you do it a million times you kind of get the hang of it and you get quicker and then you're just gonna overlap a little at the end and try to line it up. If you don't line it up perfectly, that's okay because you can just take a razor and uh, trim off any excess overhang. I think I'm pretty good at lining it up, but occasionally I'll have to uh, go around and trim it. So like this one, looks like I lined that one up perfectly so I don't have to worry about anything. And then you just go around and burnish all of the sides. You can use a special burnishing tool like I have. They also make, um, yeah, I think I have all of them. I don't I just have so much stuff. Uh, so these things, I have a bunch of different size ones for a different sized foil. Uh, I don't, I don't use, I don't think, I have actually never used this. Uh, but you feed the foil in through here and then it like peels it and puts it down for you and burnishes it all in one. Um, you can still use this to burnish if you want. That actually works kind of well. You can use whatever you want. You can use a fid. You can use a marker. Oops. The important thing is just to make sure that your adhesive is really stuck to your glass. need to quickly do the rest.
ready to solder my planter stake together. Um, I have my liquid flux. I have my 60-40 solder. Got my Paco soldering iron and my tinning block. So we are ready to go. Um, make sure you have a fume extractor or an open window. We need the ventilation. I finished soldering my piece and I washed it with flux remover. So now I'm just going to clean up the solder lines with some copper wool and then I will apply my copper patina. Uh -huh. 